This is Annuity Straight Talk. Since 2008, your host, Brian Anderson, has helped clients nationwide navigate the complex market for annuities. With Brian's assistance, hundreds of clients have achieved a profitable and secure retirement. I would know, because Brian has answered many of my questions concerning annuities and retirement planning. So that you can benefit as well, let's get started. Here's Brian. Hello and welcome everyone to the Annuity Straight Talk podcast, middle of September in 2022, episode number 57. My name is Brian Anderson. When you see this, I will not be in the office. Everybody that's been around for a while knows why. And I'm recording this just before I take off. Uh, so this will come out, be released on Castos on the 15th. Um, and so you get it on you know YouTube and your podcast platforms and stuff like that. Uh, um, like, uh, I heard that it helps me out if you uh, uh, like or give me a good rating on the podcast. So if you enjoy it, I'd appreciate that. Uh, not, you don't, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, but I'm going uh, going elk hunting, and so it's actually been kind of a tradition. And anybody who's been around for a few years realizes this. I typically, you know, have written a, a newsletter. Uh, you know, it's kind of an annual trip sometime in September for the past six or seven years. I've done this, and it, uh, you know, the title itself, elk hunting and annuities, may not. You know, it's like, oh, what the, you know, what does that have to do with annuities? All this stuff. Well. It makes me really grateful for the business that I have, and I am always uh, happy to have chosen the career path I did, and being able to take some time off with not without having to worry about uh, what clients are uh, experiencing is a tremendous, tremendous benefit for me. I mean, I, like asset manager, I would probably have to, I couldn't go dark for two weeks. Um, you know, you'd have to have somebody looking over it, you'd have to have the person, all stuff, it's like, oh. Um, so I'm going to, and I'm not writing newsletters on this one just because in the interest of time, uh, the hunt I'm going on is actually, you know, it's not necessarily once in a lifetime, but it's taken me 15 years to draw this permit. Uh, so it's fair, it's fairly important to me and I plan to take as much advantage of it as I possibly can. The plan is to go for two weeks. I can get lucky and it happens in two days, or maybe it doesn't happen at all. And I got to come home for a week and then I go back. So I have until about October 15th to make this happen or the opportunity goes away and it's a long, long drive. So uh, between packing the truck, lots of gear, planning for food for two weeks, um, cooler maintenance, I think I might have mentioned that before, I'm a master at packing a cooler, um, keeping things frozen for a long period of time in, uh, without power, it would, is a, it's a skill, it really is. So anyway, um, I, I just, again, this year has been so incredibly busy for everyone, a few podcasts ago, I talked about why insurance companies are really busy. I think everybody understands people are jumping at the new rates and, and it's been great. I think a lot of people are happy and satisfied with what they've received. Uh, so I just kind of, at this point, I wouldn't say I'm burned out, but I've, uh, I've worked hard. I have not really had the opportunity to do anything more than a three day weekend all summer, which is rare for me. I like to, you know, summer in Montana, it's like, that's why we live here because it's so beautiful and nice weather and it's pleasant. And so I try to get outside. Um, everybody knows I love to, uh, get out in nature. So, um, you know, my horse is in reasonably good shape, but not as much as he could be. And certainly not as much as he has been in the past. So, um, I'm going to share my screen because I'm going to show you guys a couple of the other ones I did. This is kind of for everyone new. Um, and it may be a reminder for, uh, other people in the past or, or, for other people who have seen it before. So, um, this, this letter I wrote actually, uh, why I like annuities, uh, was done in 2019. I, it was a successful elk hunt, but I wrote this, you can see the date was October 6th, but I wrote this when I came back and, you know, it really talked about, and I know, and right now we have the similar things economically speaking, uh, this morning, the Euro European central bank raised their rates. They think the fed might follow suit or they get up, 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 up. Uh, what does the stock market think of it? Uh, it still seems to defy odds. Uh, why it's climbing again? And last week, if we're talking about you know this in real time, would have been 
uh, you know, John Ballmer and I recorded a podcast. So you guys saw it the week before you saw this one. Um, he's talking about some of the calls he's made and, uh, want to, again, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a guessing game with the market. And so, um, I like annuities because I remove that issue. Uh, there's not a lot of second guessing. And anyway, so, you know, he talked again about, you know, kind of how the current market conditions relate to the things that he's been sharing with this audience uh, for the past, you know, eight or nine months. Uh, it's great to have a different perspective on here. Uh, so we're going to continue having John on here. And I, would, I appreciate, uh, you know, anybody that likes that, you know, just send me a comment, just kind of give, you know, give me the confirmation because I think it's valuable. Um, you can let me know what you think. But uh, I wrote this newsletter after an elk hunt. And it was, again, just I, I love my business. I love you guys. I really appreciate everything that I get to do. Uh, and, you know, some people come and say, man, your lifestyle is amazing. Well, everything in life is a choice, right? You know, not everything I've ever done has worked out the best. And I mean, I'm on the tail end of a divorce right now. That's not cool. So there's somebody in this world that doesn't really like me that much. Uh, more than one, I'm sure. Anyhow, uh, but I do my best and I try to be a good person. I try to have positive interactions. And that's the kind of thing is you have, you don't know, you know, obviously we don't need to get into my personal life right now. Anybody wants to talk about it, I don't mind talking about it, but uh, it's not for the podcast, but you know, those moments in time, and you talk about financially or personally, when you face, when you face a setback like that, you have to look at yourself and, you know, analyze, you know, I have to figure out what did I do wrong? What could I have done differently? I mean, the divorce is uh, honestly the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me, but, um, I know if I focus on myself and improve what I can to make me happy with who I am, um, that wasn't the issue. I don't think, but, um, there's something better coming for all of us. And that is the same thing with managing finances as well. You have to learn from, from your mistakes. You have to improve things where you can. I like annuities because that's the simple and the easy and the one thing that's always consistent and, and constant. So I go elk hunting in 2019. It's the same thing as now. In 2019, everybody was ragging on Trump. Trump committed this crime. Nobody liked him. You know, Democrats and Republicans were button heads and it's like, Ugh. I mean, episode 33, war is a racket. I think it's just a big distraction. I like annuities because they prep you for uh, skating through all of that garbage and not worrying about it financially. I mean, because that's the biggest thing in life. So I go elk hunting for a couple of weeks. And in that case, I think it was uh, maybe 10 days. I didn't read the news at all. And it's uh, so much, it's funny how you, when you, get away from listening to the news all the time or it's like, Oh man, I feel better. I mean, I have to kind of stay on top of things just because, you know, you guys call and we have conversations and I have to have, uh, some knowledge of what's going on with current events and with interest rates and the economy and all these things. Cause it relates to the job, but I take a break and it's not for the elk hunt. I love getting out, uh, into, into the woods and it's not necessarily for that either, but I need to heal spiritually at times as well. And I'm not a hippie, but I certainly appreciate the natural connection to the world we live in. And if you do nothing else and you live in a city, man, go put your feet on bare ground one time a day, bare feet, bare ground one time a day, close your eyes and take a deep breath. It makes a huge difference. I feel like it makes me a better person. When I do it, because I come back refreshed, I come back excited. I mean, I'm going to, after this one, I'm going to be dog tired, but, you know, physically tired and, uh, um, uh, and mentally fresh is fine. It's a lot easier than, you know, physically sluggish and mentally exhausted. And I've gotten to that point a couple of times this year. That's why writing is, is, is difficult at times for me because, um, I write a lot of emails. Shoot. I'm probably writing, uh, couple thousand words a day in emails. Um, but while I do that for that, for this stuff, uh, while I do that, while I recharge myself, while I enjoy myself, while I get outdoors, I like annuities because I don't have to worry about you guys. Okay. You guys, people that are getting income payments are going to get their income payments. I don't care what happens, what they say on Bloomberg. I don't care what they decide at the World Economic Forum or what Klaus Schwab is claiming that all the people in the world need to do. I don't care about it for a while. And I can detach from that 
and I know that the money that people have with me through or with insurance companies through me is going to be there. I'm not worried about them missing a paycheck. There might be some people who need something from me. Um, I'm limited, very limited in, uh, in phone and email this time. Although I will, I believe I'll be able to, to communicate a little bit. Um, all of that stuff is fine. And that's why I like annuities because you guys are in great shape and I appreciate you allowing me and being open to that. Yeah. And we know Brian, maybe he needs a break and he's got to go somewhere for a while. Um, it's, it's interesting. So, and obviously like we, you're elk hunting. It's, it's uh, somebody sent me, somebody sent me like the, the, uh, um, Elmer Fudd, uh, it was a meme or something where it was just, you know, he's walking around with a shotgun, be very, very quiet. And cause I, I can't sit there and talk on the phone. Um, but you know, in this trip, particularly back in 2019, we were camped down in this little valley and we're in the back country, but you know, and it, what people don't, I, I think I said it in here, people don't understand is you can be in some of the most remote points in the country. And if you get high on a peak, you'll get a cell signal. Um, and so in this case, you know, we'd have to, we'd ride the horses up about a half mile or no, I, sorry, about, you know, say 500 feet in elevation, which we cover in maybe a mile. And as soon as we get there, um, turn the phone on and ding, 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 text messages, emails come through, missed calls, voicemails, all that stuff. So I look at it and I just, you know, if there's anything that say, Hey, I've got this or I've got that. Listen, if, if it's an, if it's a question I need to answer, I'll answer the question. Right. Um, and otherwise I'll just say, Hey, listen, I'm out for a few days or whatever. I'll be back on next Monday. And if it's cool, we can wait till then. Right. I mean, the funny thing is that, like the, my favorite part about, uh, elk hunting in September is the midday nap. So you're up at 4 AM usually start hiking or riding in the dark. Now this year I'm not taking the, the stock with me. So it's all hiking. So you're hiking in the dark and there's a lot of activity with elk in the early, early morning hours. Then by, you know, 10, 10, 30, 11, you know, you've been up for seven hours. I like a nap. I don't ever get them. Um, you find a nice shady spot. Now, if that's, if that's on top of a mountain, which this year it won't, cause we're, we're way out there. There's just not, a, not much there. But in, in years past, like on this trip, so I got a picture of here with Bugs Bunny, my horse. Uh, he is such a stud. We get on top of this mountain. You can see the sun's just barely coming up. So we've been riding for about an hour at this point. Get to the top, check my emails, and send a couple quick back. Hey, got, you, uh, got it. I'm here. I'm good. You know, nothing happened to me. Um, my wife used to always say, oh, I get so nervous when you guys go out there. I'm afraid something's going to happen. I would tell, tell it's like, it's not like we're both going to die. Okay. Somebody's going to, somebody's going to make it out. So you won't have to wonder what happened to me. And I've been doing this a long, I mean, I mean I've been going deep back country. The first long trip I did when I was 11 years old. I actually do have a story that might relate. So, um, but yeah, a quick email session with bugs on the top of a hill, right? Um, same thing. 30 minutes later, bright blue skies, baby mule looking out over the plains. You tell me like being in a beautiful spot like that does not refresh and recharge you and make you feel better. Get out and do it no matter where you are, where you live. Not all of you want to or can travel to Montana. I had a guy from Ohio this is sometime earlier this year saying, oh, I like to meet people face to face when I do business with them. And I hear that a lot and that's okay. I said, well, you know, you're retired, like take a road trip, come to Montana. <laughs> He's like, Montana, gross. <laughs> you can have that place. I'm like, what a moron. Uh, fine. I'm like, you know what? Hey, uh, thanks for letting me know you don't like it here. Go tell everybody you know. <laughs> okay. I don't care. So uh, baby mule up top. That was pretty cool. So um, anyway, it's just, it's, it's such a powerful experience for a lot of reasons. And annuities are consistent. They're always there. And so I'm grateful that I've got the business I have. I'm grateful that you guys are protected. I'm grateful that you guys, you know, like what I put out and any comments, suggestions, or ideas, I am open to those. So, um, that was a successful hunt. One of the coolest experiences of my life. It's not always about getting an animal. It's getting out, enjoying friends, uh, enjoying, uh, just some beautiful parts of the country. So, and then the following year, actually this one, I, it was funny. I wrote this, uh, in the truck on the drive over. And then I sent it to my marketing guy, Jeremy, 
Big Jer, shout out to him down in Dallas, Texas. Tejas. Um, I wrote this. I was typing on my phone. My buddy was driving, pulling the trailer. And uh, um, and this one was all about, uh, you know, making the most of the little moments because, you know, I was 20 years post-college. Um, this is two years ago, so 22 years. Almost, tw- yeah, something like that. You think about a single point in time, it's like, man, that time fl- flies. It's gone, okay? And I... But if you start picking it apart and thinking sequentially about every little thing that's happened, and man, I have had a ton of experiences in the past 20 years. 20 years, right? I started this career in 2003, right? I went to the Olympic trials in 2004. I was a fishing guide through a lot of that, and it started before that. I fished in Alaska, uh, you know, from helicopters and float planes. I mean, insane stuff. Um been to Europe, Central America, seen a bunch of different countries, did saltwater fishing, all of these things, uh, incredible experiences. Lived in California for a few years, moved back to Montana, uh, met a lot of people. And, you know, there are a lot of, a lot of things. I am uh, fortunate to have many, many blessings I have. And one of the biggest is, of course, my family is extremely important to me. I've got a one, uh, an amazing family, really, really nice people. And um, my dad would never hesitate to do anything I need uh, from him. Uh, great guy. And, but, you know, right up there high on the list is, is all of you guys and the ability to, uh, to speak with you and talk to you. Um, I, you know, hope this is relevant to some people that they enjoy the stories and all that stuff. But, um, you know, when, you know, you look at, you know, this specific newsletter, annuity slow down time, the point is that when, (laughs) when you're waiting for something to happen, it seems like time drags on. Now, like when you're kids and you're like kid waiting for Christmas, it seems like forever or your birthday. Now it's like, I'm at the point where birthdays come and go. I, could, I couldn't care less. It's like, Oh geez. Um, I don't like a lot of attention on my birthday. So nobody gets to really know when it is honestly. Um, and because of that, I don't really, I'm not really a big birthday celebrator for other people either. It's like, I'm out of birthday party. You're 47. <laughs> Some I got I went to a birthday party for this girl that I barely knew. She was turning fifty. This is like ten years ago, and she got. Uh, she's like, "Where's my present?" I'm like, "I don't even know you. I'm supposed to bring a present to a fifty year old? No, come on." Um, anyway, tons and tons and tons of stuff I've done in the past twenty years. When you're waiting for something, it takes longer. If you're waiting for a check, you know. If you like every month or every year, or you're waiting for a renewal time or a reset, like you were a free withdrawal, all these things, you got to wait for it. It's like, no, you got three more months until you can take another withdrawal, you know, 10% per year, or you wait till the first of the month. Now it's not, do not ever wish away time and say, I can't wait till that comes. I've done that a lot with this hunt this year. It's the biggest one of my life to this point, but annuities make, I think to some extent, allow you to slow things down and really pay attention to every little moment as it goes by. All right. Now in a very small way, I'm not saying that's the catalyst. You got to have the right mindset, but when you got to wait for something, it takes longer to get here. It gives you more time to sit and appreciate the, the, uh, all the, you know, every little moment you got and realize that, man, and like I said, the past 20 years have been crazy. Uh, a lot of stuff. If I get another 20 years on the back end of this, it's like I, I'm more than lucky, more than lucky guy. So um, quick and easy. uh, A couple of those, if you want to go visit the page, uh, again, just go to the newsletter page, annuities, slow down time. Um, Here we are with, uh, yeah, my big uh, Vegas jackpot. Um, I don't know. I thought that was cool. Anyway, uh, but I'm very, very excited. So you go to the newsletter list just right here. Search in the box. So I type in why I like. Or, you know, annuities slow. If you type in annuities, you're going to get a bunch of them. So you kind of know what you're looking for. Um, And go go check those out and see. And I would appreciate, like, I don't know, share with me what you want. Not everybody's a hunter. I talked to a couple yesterday where the husband thought it was really cool that I was going. And the wife said, I don't really like hunting. And and that's fine. Um, Not really... uh, um, you know, every, everybody's cup of tea. And again, it's not about just being brutal and, you know, all this stuff. It is um, amazing and it gives you a reverence and respect for the places we live and the places we get to see. I like to go to cities for about three days and then I'm done. I want to live out here. 
I've had a number of people come visit me this summer and they say, wow, I get it. And so, yeah, maybe I'm a little unconventional, but I like it that way. I am who I am. Life is too short to be anybody, but exactly who you are. Uh, that's what I try to do. So I'm going elk hunting. I am elk hunting. When you watch this, maybe I've been successful. That's kind of funny. Like who, what, what will have happened by the time in the next, uh, eight or nine days before you guys see this, uh, interesting to think about, but again, I appreciate everything, everything you guys, you guys have done for me, giving me the opportunity to serve you in a way that, uh, I am suited for, uh, I'm here to help. And if you need me, you can give me a call 800-438-5121. Schedule a call, top right corner of annuitystraighttalk.com, any page, and subscribe to the, your favorite podcast platform or YouTube. I think on YouTube, you got to hit the bell, uh, something like that. Somebody told me, yo, tell them to hit the bell. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'll, I'll figure it out and tell you, but um, I'd appreciate a little bit of support. If you guys like it, yeah, uh, give me a good rating, something or other like that, and apparently that you know brings me up the ranks. Um, I am not looking to be the richest guy in the world, but, uh, I feel to some level, the work I put in and, uh, what I give to everybody, it's all free. You can take it all of it. Right. And 99.9% .9 of people who have seen a video, read a newsletter, never did business with me. I mean, I don't, I have even talked to most of them. So, um, yeah, um, it's, it's been worth it because the relationships have been incredible regardless of, you know, making a decent living, doing it. Uh, it has been, it has been awesome. And I want to thank everyone. So again, this was episode 57 elk hunting and annuities. It's that time of year. I'm out there. I'll be back. Um, and the schedule uh, calendar is blocked. If you want to do this, if you want to schedule something with me, just shoot me an email. And when I can get to it, uh, it's going to happen a little slower than normal, but I am out there. I'm alive and I'm going to be back better than ever, uh, toward the end of September. So thank you again so much for joining me on this podcast, letting me rant about my trip and the things that I work for. And um, yeah, once again, thank you so much. All right, love you guys. Have a great day and I'll catch up with you soon. All right, bye. You have been listening to Annuity Stray Talk. The preceding information is for informational and educational purposes only and does not represent tax, legal, or investment advice. The views expressed by guests on this program are their own and do not necessarily reflect the views of Annuity Straight Talk or its partners. No information presented today should be acted upon without meeting with a qualified and licensed professional. It is important that you read all insurance contract disclosures carefully before making a purchase decision. Guarantees are based on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the insurance company.